Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Quick Episode 71. We have a new kind of thing today that Seth actually recommended we start doing, which we talk about on our main episodes, pretty much the new movies that are coming out every week. Our Real Quicks usually focus on a patron movie review and a patron draft, but we want to start getting some fresh other ideas of content out there. So in this video, we're going to be talking about our top three years in film and kind of going over like our top five-ish favorite movies from that year. So how we're going to do this is we're just going to hop around the call. And we're going to go one by one, just talk one year at a time. But for example, like if Cam drops that 2004 was his favorite year, favorite movie year, and Seth or George or, or myself also had that year, then we'll just continue talking about it. So we just kind of go year by year talking about each movie. So I'm going to kick it off first with Cam. Pick a year, your favorite year of all time. Doesn't have to be your favorite. We're, I mean, top three. Just pick pick one year. Let's start talking about it. What are your what's what year is it? And what are your favorite movies from that year? Yeah, uh, just chilling. Uh, I, I'm gonna, you know, very much, very much me pick here. Uh, pretty recent. I'm gonna go with a uh, 2019 um, to start off. So I guess I. So to start off, I think I have six five out of fives. Parasite being the highest rated. Um, then I got Knives Out, which I loved. Not everyone's gonna love that as much as me. So I have that a five out of five. But 1917, Uncut Gems just mercy so i guess five five out of fives and then no. right there is ford v ferrari at a nine no portrait of a lady on fire that's my seventh not highest rated i guess because it's right next to ford v ferrari and i haven't actually like ranked the two compared but they're both 94 out of 100 oh, okay. um but then you know it also has avengers endgame which of course i'm gonna love like i gotta eat that up i'm a i'm a huge proponent of spider-man far from home as y'all know uh, I love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Last Black Man in San Francisco we just talked about, uh, George's favorite Joker, Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, Marriage Story. This this year just like just keeps and keeps hitting. I feel like one of the best uh, Christmas movies um, I've ever seen, Klaus. I think it's a very underrated Christmas movie. And then I also looked, I only have uh, four half stars. And you know, I always try to, <laughs> I always try have, to get it. Yeah, I always try one. to get a couple. Uh, <laughs> I always try to get a good amount of half stars in throughout the year. So I feel like 2019 is probably like where I really started like ranking movies like 2019, 2018 time. I never actually remember exactly when, but it's right around there. Um, so I feel, I feel confident in that pick in the sense that like I was actually watching a lot of movies from that year as well. I saw a total of 66. I didn't take the average of the year, but I'm going to, I'm going to throw out, uh, 2019. I'm going to just piggyback yeah. right off that yeah, because 2019 is on my list. I've argued uh, several times. I think this is oh, shit. Midsummer. one of, if not the best years in film. I have eight movies out of five out of five and then another 13 out of four and a half out of five. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is your number one. It has to be. Yeah. My, my five out of fives in order are Parasite, Joker, Marriage Story, 1917, Knives Out, The Lighthouse, Uncut Gems, and Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Yeah. Um, and then some four and a half that Cam didn't mention, Ad Astra, John Wick Chapter 3, Toy Story 4, Honey Boy, Booksmart, Jojo Rabbit, uh, Jordan Peele's Us, Ford v. Ferrari, The Peanut Butter Falcon, Ready or Not, How to Train Your Dragon uh, 2, uh, 3, sorry. Um, so yeah, same thing with uh, Cam. This is also the year Avengers Endgame came out and you know, I'm, I'm lower on this movie now. That used to be a five out of five, but it's a four and a half out of five for me. But that, that movie obviously just means a lot to me. I, I grew up with superhero movies. Um, so, yeah, I, I think overall this is such a stacked year for film. And then sure. even just like Cam said, Cam had four half stars. I'm looking at like the bottom of my list. I don't even think it's like that terrible. Like you have Jumanji 2. I'm that lower. is not that. No <laughs> way that's at the bottom. What do you have that at? Uh, I have that at a three out of five. Okay, that's at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, like, okay, even okay. the bottom of my list isn't like terrible. I think like, I have it at a three. And out then five also three another movie, say. like, I know I'm not, I'm in the minority and not loving this movie, but I understand a lot of people hold this as Tarantino's highest. But Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out that year. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this is a completely stacked year. This uh, El Camino also came out, Rocket Man. Uh, Chalamet's The King came out, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Scorsese had The Irishman. Um, just to uh, just to shout out a couple that aren't necessarily like highly rated for myself, um, as we're just like going through movies in here. Sorry to cut you off, George, no, but good. I just want to throw them out with you. Um, Godzilla King of the Monsters, I really like. Yeah. I don't think it's fantastic, but it's a good epic. Uh, yeah. George George turned me on to Get Duked. 
a uh, funny, funny, funny movie. Great movie. Uh, did you mention? I, I I feel like you did. Ready or not, you mentioned. I read that. Mentioned, I will. I will say. I think Get Duked was 2020. Like it had a limited oh, release. It? Oh, yeah, okay. it had like I a very. Written down as 2019. Yeah, That's it had a super limited release in 2019. And then, so think, yeah, you know, I'll mention like even the lows. Like uh, my lowest in in the year are uh, so Cats, uh, Countdown. <laughs> like those are really bad movies. Oh, yeah. But but there are no zero. The lowest I have rated is a five out of one hundred. So no zero. So you got to And also, um, I think people really liked the Aladdin remake. I liked it. I I, I didn't hate yeah. it. But I think in terms of live action remakes, people enjoyed that one a good amount. So that was twenty nineteen as well. Um, it, Did you guys it, mention? Um... I, mean, I didn't love this film. Did you? Did you guys mention? I think you like Oz, don't you? Or at least George. I, I think George did. Yeah. Oh, Midsummer. I have it a four and a half. Uh, yeah. Not everyone. George, I don't, I don't think you like. Oh, right, Glass. What a film. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, Saint Maud. I like Saint Maud. I don't, I don't think you did. I I have Saint Maud in my 2020 ranking. Really? Oh well, it's just 2019 or level. That's what I'm. Yeah, at. I think same thing as uh, Get Duked. It's like one of the like same thing with Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal, I think on Letterbox is 2019, oh, yeah, yeah, but it's a 2020 yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even like the hilarious comedy Good Boys, which I really enjoy. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It Chapter Two. I know Tyler two, doesn't love like that it. movie, but no, it's I me. I was not seen it. You're the one. Okay, you're the one that doesn't like that movie. I think it doesn't like the first. Okay. Well, like Dumbo. You haven't mentioned Tim Burton Dumbo, man. That was dog shit. I think this is also the year of the Lion King remake. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, honestly, yeah, eight five out of fives. Another thirteen four and a half out of fives. This is probably my number one. Yep. That's fair. That's uh, I think it's my number one as well. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we, well, we, we knocked two off right there. So we have Cam and George is 2019. So we'll kick it over to Seth. Seth, what's a, what's a year that you consider in your top three years of all time? Yeah. So I, I do actually have a three, two, one order. I do want to shout out 57, 1980, and uh, 2014. That was the most Seth thing you could have said. 2014. <laughs> yeah. 57. <laughs> 50, 50, bro, 57 was crazy. Like, have you seen Paths of Glory, Wild Strawberries, Bridge in the River Kwai, 12 Angry Men, Seventh Seal, Witness the Prosecution? 12, 12, ang 12 Angry Mid. Sorry. Do you have it like 100 out of 100 or like a 99? <laughs> no, it's 95, but it's not that five. Uh, I, I was, uh, uh, yeah, I was just kidding. Was um, yeah, my so my three right now, I'd go 2002 would be my, my um, three. Okay. So main things you've got is city of god uh you've got lord of the rings two towers you've got dark water which is i think i'm the only one seeing but i love that film you've got the start of the raimi spider-man trilogy also fantastic you've got the pianist you've got paul thomas anderson's punch drunk love you've got danny boyle's 28 days later um you've got spielberg's catch me if you can you've got ice age which i do like a lot um mm -hmm. you've got like a snake of june which i don't think you guys have seen george is directed by uh sakamoto the same guy who did kotoko which i think you'll really really like mm, yeah um and then you've also got some like good films as well like you've got uh the grudge the original grudge um really good film you've got fincher's panic room which i, th I think's decent i'm not huge on it the one with uh, jodie foster but i think it's a good psychological thriller uh you've also got the red dragon obviously the, the connections to the science of the lambs um you've got let me see what else you've got here. You've got About a Boy, which is like a coming of age film, which I think is okay. You've got Spy Kids 2, which you could argue is one of the better of the year, but you know, who knows? Um, and you've also got I'm trying to think. Oh, you've got Equilibrium. Have you any of you guys seen Equilibrium? Nope. The one that's like similar to The Matrix with Christian Bale as the main. Oh, one. yeah. Yeah, cool film, man. Really weird. But cool film. Did really you uh cool. did you mention Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, also yeah, got uh, yeah. the Born Identity, which is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got so shout out. ratings wise, I've got three five stars, um, five four and a half, and then like six fours, and quite a few three and a half. So definitely a really strong year for me. Uh, top three from that year Dark Water third, City of God second, and the Two Towers would, of course, be first. I'll go with that. I thought you were going in like first to third. And I was like, there's no way that. Two towers is your no. third. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was confused for a second. Is that a uh, okay? So that was two thousand four, right? Two thousand two. Oh, two thousand two. Okay, two thousand two. So for my first, I'll go over um, twenty seventeen. 
Really like 2017. Damn it. Yeah. Co- Damn it. Coco is my favorite Pixar movie, and that's my top of the year. Uh, Love Wind River, obviously. Logan is incredible. The Big Sick, I know Cam's high on. I'm super high on as well. I love Call Me By Your Name. Uh, you know, guy, I'm, I'm a big Luca Guadagnino guy. Um, we had Lady Bird, Good Time, Paddington 2. I really yeah. love Spider Man Homecoming. You got Baby Driver, which is fun. Phantom Thread from Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, Solid year for comic book movies in general because Spider Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, and one, the original Wonder Woman are all very good. Yeah. Uh, the Mayor, I'm gonna, Mayorowitz stories, uh, Only the Brave, shout out our real quick review from two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Guardians 2 as well, John Wick Chapter 2, just a lot of fun blockbusters as well as big. some like modern classics in terms of like Call Me by Your Name, Lady Bird, stuff that are, are, I think are very well, well received. I want to shout out. Uh, sorry, Tom, go on. No, you shout it out. I was just going to say two films. So my favorite 2017. 2017 was a really good year, actually. Yeah, uh, I only I don't actually have many fives and four and R's. I just have a lot of fours. Uh, I don't know if you said Killing the Sacred Deer. I think that's great. Yeah. Um, First Reformed, obviously my favorite of the year. And George, you've also seen One Cut of the Dead. Brilliant, yeah, really, really in horror comedy. Great. And then you've also got like, Mother, which I liked a lot. Alien Covenant, which I also liked. Uh, Tigers Are Not Afraid, George. Yeah. Again, really good horror film. Uh, 2000, yeah, 2017 was actually really, really good. I haven't really thought about this before, to be honest. Yeah, so, dude. Uh, I don't know. Did you mention Blade Runner 2049 or did I just miss yeah, that? Blade I haven't seen it. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Well, that, that, that's fair. Well, well that's going to make that year even five better out of five. for you. Yeah. There's a five out of five for you. Yeah. Bang. I'll, I'll just continue because 2017 was also a year in my Bang. top three. It seems like a lot of overlap here with me. Um, the Florida, uh, my top five from this year are Blade Runner 2049, Get Out, Wind River, Coco, and Lady Bird. And then outside of the things you've mentioned, the Florida project that also came out that year. Um, I don't think anyone's mentioned the Lego Batman movie. Dunkirk came out that year. Uh, um, Okja. Wa- Okja came out that year. The Joaquin, Phoenix, uh, the Joaquin Phoenix starring You Were Never Really Here came out that year. A24 yeah. is a ghost story. Jessica Chastain's Molly's Game. Um, Molly's Game's awesome. Molly's Game's so fantastic. good. Fantastic. I Tanya. I don't think you guys have ever seen Brawl in Cell Block '99. But have, yeah, the one with um, it's Vaughn. His Vaughn best day, performance. Um, Seth. It comes at night. Came out that year. Same with Shape of Water and the Disaster Artist. Cam, I know you're high on the Disaster Artist. Love that. What, which ones? It comes um, at night. Have I seen that? Uh, I don't know. It's the Trey Edward Schultz movie starring Joel Edgerton. I, I don't oh, see. No, I haven't seen that. Wait. No, yeah, you have it rated a three oh, stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro, cool. rewatch it. Yeah, that's crazy. Just, uh, I don't know. Just to keep continuing on with how good this year is, because I, I also really love it. Uh, War for the Planet of the Apes. Did you mention that? Um, oh yeah, that's good. That come out that year. Yeah, yeah twenty seventeen War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, oh, I mentioned yeah. it. I think I mentioned this as a movie I've seen that none of you have. Maybe in our Q and A episode, The Death of Stalin came out in twenty seventeen. Um, I think everything else got mentioned in my yeah. like four and some, a half. To some five horror range. we didn't mention. This uh, is a good year for horror. I mean, Alien Covenant came out, which obviously a very polarizing movie, but I, I like it a lot. Happy Death Day, Gerald's Game, The oh, Ritual. Yeah, the next Seth, I think you recommended The Ritual to me the first time I watched it. Yeah, The Ritual is cool. There's also um, yeah. one I really want you to watch called Marrow Bone, which is the one that has. I remember you telling me it has Anya Taylor Joy, Mia Goth, George McKay. Yeah, um, all guys like a psychological thriller horror. Actually, that's that's yeah. really high. That's a four star for me. Twenty seventeen was. Yeah. Oh, Netflix's uh, Forgotten, the South Korean thriller. That was a really good film. Uh, did, did you guys anything? ever? Sorry, from last year it came out. Did you guys ever watch After Yang? Yeah, yeah I watched nah, it recently, like a few months it. ago. Yeah, the, it's a good the, film. Really yeah, good film. the Coconada, the guy that did that film. Did another movie called Columbus. Columbus, so, was that, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it's, that it's John Cho and uh, Haley Lou Richardson, who was in the latest season of White Lotus. Amazing movie that also Wait. came out in 2017. Cam forgot his favorite film from this year. That's crazy. What's, What's that? that? What the Last Dead, Jedi? No, Dead Man Tell No Tales. Dead Man <laughs> Tell No Tales came out in 2017. <laughs> what uh, a picture! Um, I don't the know why the this emoji is like, movie. I, Joss, yeah. Joss three. Joss three. The Justice wow. League. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yep, the justice. I don't know why this is my default, but another highly this one's actually highly acclaimed on the Disney remake scale, but Beauty and the Beast Disney remake, which I do really love. Or yeah, I love Beauty and Beast. Oh, the the, I, the, the, the first Jumanji, good movie. Yeah, the first Jumanji is first Jumanji. Jumanji. Yeah, well, well is that the first did remake. Yeah, I think it's yeah, we did. And I the greatest showman. Oh shoot, you know what I got to oh, forgot yeah. to mention from 2019? 
I think. Crawl. What? Crawl was 2019. Oh, <laughs> crawl. Get out I'm of just here, waiting for y'all. No one's seen it. Oh, okay. Mate, I, I think I'm higher on this film than most people, but Kong Skull Island, I really enjoyed it. Like I, I didn't Island. mind it. it was pretty it's like got some Kong. good epics. Good year yeah. in film. Good the, year in film. The second Kingsman came out. Uh, Atomic Blonde. Damn, this was a good ass year in film. Me, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the second Kingsman. 2017, there wasn't like much huge things for me but it's so there's so many fours it's so yeah consistent. there's a lot of fours and four and three and a half and four and a half yeah, but yeah, not yeah, only yeah. only four fives for me oh five, it follows it follows banger was that 2017 no 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 i'm bugging i'm bugging i'm bugging yeah i was gonna say i thought it was early <laughs> i'm sorry no no no. i'm super bugging ignore me that was not it i'm sorry no no, no. forget it fuck me so cam was 2017 in your top three or were you just adding in the conversation yeah it would have been okay. it would have been uh probably but i i can get a different year uh i'll kick it over to seth while you do I, that. I, I put to the, i put this list together pretty quick so okay that's fair uh, i had my top three seth uh <laughs> what's another year for you yeah so number two might surprise you i've got another 2000s year um i have 2003 which won't be that much knew that would be on it, yeah it's crazy i have four five do you know what? There's not actually that much in terms of cons- in terms of volume here. It's more the standouts. So, Return of the King, favorite movie of all time, obviously. Old Boy, Memories of Murder, Dogville, The First Pirates of the Caribbean, Kill Bill, Finding Nemo, School of Rock, Big Fish, and Holes. They're the standouts. You've also got Bad Boys 2, and I, I like the Bad Boys films. You've got Elf, which is a decent Christmas film. Um, you've got the original it's decent. You got the original Hulk, which I actually do like. Tyler, I saw you rated that half a star. You... Half a star. The Ang Lee Hulk. Yeah, I like him. I think I have it at a half star as well. It stinks. You don't actually. You have it at one and a half. So one and a half. Okay, it yeah. still stinks. No, it doesn't. Liar. Um, and weird uh, resurgence online right now. Weird yeah, it's super online. weird. That happens all yeah. the time. I know. I, no, I I think I don't think it's great by any means. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's a lot better. It was a lot better Hulk adaptation than the MCU Hulk adaptation. I will say that I think I think the Edward the um who directed that one? I can't remember. Who did direct it? Louis Leterrier or was... something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe no, I mean, Louis Leterrier. I love that. I oh yeah. No clue. Yeah, I don't think that was a good for me anyway. And then that's pretty much it. There's not like that much in terms of volume this year. You know, you've got Cat in the Heart, you've got Spy Kids 3 as well. What do you have the cat in the hat at? A three. <laughs> No, <laughs> you're fucking lying to yourself. No, kind of hot stone, man. <laughs> no, it is not. That movie is the most like that is uh, that no, is I, I think the kind most of like, egregious watches I've ever seen. Uh, I, I think kind of hot stone. I, I genuinely enjoy that. That's crazy. Um, I'll give a shout out to X Two from that year. I genuinely enjoy X Two. Oh yeah, X Two is great. One of the best X Men movies for sure. Um, um, the Haunted Mansion. Any of you guys watched that? You fucked with that? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. Do you want to know why I, I, I what's the mansion it. rated? Let's see. Any shout outs? Find, did you say Finding Nemo? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you say the OG uh, Pirates? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Wait, you guys haven't even logged to the Haunted Mansion. What the fuck are you doing, man? I don't. I, I, I saw it when I was watch like it. 10. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bro, that shit bangs. You need to watch it before the next one comes out. You know what a yeah, movie from 2003 that is not very good that people like, and I'm about to give a hot take maybe, but I think it's not very good? Brother Bear. Mediocre oh, animated movie. I mean, mediocre it's animated a slightly movie. above average. Oh, wait. The Room came out in 2003. Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> That's okay, that shit stuck. <laughs> Three star. It's got to be shouted out. Oh, it, so out of your mind, man. Uh, that's kind of it. Bro, it's bro is just trying to be bro. different. The bro is... <laughs> <laughs> even, uh, Stevens, the even Stevens movie? That's even a banger. Not, banger. You can't shit me on that one, bro. You can't shit me on that one. That's fun. The, the, um, the, yeah. even, the even Stevens movie is better than half of M. Knight's filmography. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of like... It's mainly on like just the top... Four or five stars, Return of the King, Old Boy, Memories of uh, Dogville, four films, incredible. Then Pirates, School of Rock, um, those six really stand out. But there's not actually that much in terms of volume other than that, I would say. I don't think. I, I like it. I like yeah. the pick. I'll go for my, my second highest is 2013. Obviously about time really? I'm super high on. Um, really love her. I think it's one of the best romances ever. Time, ever, ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, tw- so I guess I don't have an about time poster, but Prisoners poster on the wall back there. So 
got to got to mention it because I absolutely love Prisoners. Yeah. Um, Rush, I think, is one of the best sports movies of all time. Mm-hmm. Side Effects is like a mystery movie not many people have seen uh, by who directed that. Um, yeah, this I is know. a good. I don't have it right here, but I, I really enjoyed good... Twenty Third. Uh, yeah. I have a lot of small stars this before year. midnight. Uh, the conclusion of the before trilogy. I love Secret yeah. Life of Walter Mitty. Man of Steel, the best Hunger Games movie came out. Wolf of Wall Street, yeah, Catching Funny yeah. Street. Did you Catching say Fire. Dallas Buyers Club? I think that's amazing. No, that's a great like movie though. Bong Joon Ho's Snowpiercer. Yeah, I did say her. Ooh, Snowpiercer's great. Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah, Flashpoint Paradox came out 2013. Yeah. Did you say, um, Dark Knight Returns University? came out that year too. Man of Steel, Monsters University. Man yeah. of Steel is good. good, good. Oh, George, oh. Wind Rises. Wind Rises is fantastic. Yeah, Wind Rises yeah. came out that year. Great movie. Yeah. You know what movie I hold way higher than most, and it's the only like patriotic film I'll probably ever hold super high. I I really like Lone Survivor. I thought that was a good one. Don't you have uh, Forrest Gump but like a four and a half though? I have it at four. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, 20, 20, 2013. I guess, I guess that's a patri- that's a very patriotic movie. The way way back is very good. Did you guys like um Gravity? Because I think I really like. I only watched. I really liked Gravity. I like Gravity. I don't love it, but I need to rewatch. I haven't seen it in forever. Ooh, George, you got to give the shout out. Give give a shout out to your favorite movie. My f- I'm like I'm trying to look Wait, to see what uh, you could possibly be talking about. Right, I, now. I'm talking about the wrong one. No, ignore me. Uh, Wait, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Wait, what, what are we talking about? Your favorite movie. Come on. Evil Dead? 2013. No. My fate. Yeah. What? Inside Lewin Davis? No, Pacific Rim. Oh, no, yeah. No Pacific Rim shout out. You uh, love that. Right. The Conjuring. 2013 was the year oh, of a lot oh. of iconic trilogies coming to an end. We have Before Midnight. Yeah, we have The World's okay. End. So we have the Cornetto trilogy wrapping up, Before trilogy wrapping up, Iron Man trilogy wrapped up, um, uh, The Hangover Did trilogy George- wrapped up. There was so many bad films this year, by the way. Like Were the, were the Millers? Yeah, I didn't know if you were going to mention Old Boy Remake. The the Old Boy Remake. After Earth. Great. What's my my point five from this year? After Earth. I've got got 3.5. Yeah, After Earth. After Earth, the Smurfs two stunk. Oh, my first watch of 2023. Can anyone name it? Movie 43. No, it's it's a half star. Sharknado. Sharknado. Nope. It's a half star. Yeah, my first watch of this year. I, I made a video on how I like to start the year as low as possible. I Only remember that video that. too, but I don't remember the movie. Oh, is it that one about like I? I know exactly. What I'm yeah, about. it's I'm in love with a church girl. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with right. uh, with uh, what's his name? Who had the fire fest? I would have never guessed that. Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Oh, movie. oh did we I'm mention? Did we Paul? mention uh, Bong Joon Ho's Snowpiercer? Mm-hmm. I think yep. Tyler did. Yeah. Okay. Great crazy. movie. Fruitvale Station. American yeah. Hustle. I know you guys aren't huge on The Hobbit, but I think the best Hobbit yeah, film is in here with the second one. The Desolation. Desolation is I good. Oh, Coherence, the low-budget, like, trippy yeah. sci-fi. Enemy. Yeah, that. Oh, this was the year of the White House movies. Olympus Has Fallen and White Olympus House Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, a, I got a major kick out of those when they came out. I don't care. Dude, They're probably I like awful, those but... movies. Yeah, I like them. Oh, Tom. I, I, what's up? Oh, in, short term. The internship. Health. The internship. Hey, yeah. I like the internship. All right. no, I, I like the internship. Funny. I like it. That yeah. movie's. Oh, you know what's kind of a funny movie? I, I saw it earlier. Oh, uh, no, not a funny movie. A movie I'll defend. Now You See Me came out in 2013. That's a good movie. Wait, I people don't. Like, yeah. That's I, a good like, movie. I didn't know people hated on it enough that you had to defend yeah. it. Maybe, I think it's pretty low rated. Maybe on Rotten Tomatoes is what I'm thinking, which is everyone's favorite. But. um. I think it's low rated. My, right. my lowest rated MCU film came out this year as well, which is great. Dark you, World. Well, or the Dark World. But yeah. you know what? Uh, yeah, it's got a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, which obviously isn't like the end all be all, but I thought people didn't like it as much. Um, but you know what sucks? Now you see me too. Big stinker. In my Are they the, like, the magician films? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a good movie. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. right now I've I've written down as so Cam is 2019 and 2017, George 2019, 2017, Seth 2002, 2003, Tyler 2017, 2013. So I think we all have two. Wow, people are we're not posting this anywhere. We have no, nothing from before the 2000s. I've got it. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey. I'm in, okay, in, no, no, my number my one defense, is and I, no, no. I wanted to make this disclaimer beforehand, like. Yes, like 1994 is like objectively one of the best years in film. My problem is disagree, I, but yeah, I, but th- th- that's not the point. The point is like I've just seen so many more movies yeah. from no, not, years in the yeah, yeah. like it's tough to compare like 2019 where I've seen 80 movies from that year 
1994, where I've only seen 30 movies in that year. Like, it's so no, hard I know, to compare the two. I don't even. I don't even. I will say, uh, I was gonna throw out a a year below the 2000s. Um, was it 99 or something? Yep, not not very far, but we're going 99. <laughs> Uh, and I don't even know. This is just like I thought. Is of this it, your but, number one, or uh, is this like an honorable mention? Oh no, twenty nineteen is my number one. Sorry, well, I mean, like, is we, this in your top? I, I is this in your top three? I don't know. Two thousand eight is probably higher, okay. but I'll throw out ninety nine as an honorable mention at, at the very least. Uh, it's got the Iron Giant, which is peak gr- the Green Mile, of course. Uh, Tarzan, uh, Toy Story two, Fight Club, which people love. The Matrix, which if you love it or hate it, you got to recognize it's. Like influence the Big Daddy, which I really love. I American think, Beauty as well. I don't know if you said that. Oh yeah, I haven't yeah. mentioned that. Three Kings, The Sixth Sense, um, Eyes Wide Shut, Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut, great film. American um, Pie, yes. yes. Good, uh, good, good year in movie. Good Any of you guys movie. watched um, Talented Mr. Ripley? I think that's a really, really good film. Fantastic, Fantastic film. movie. Um, PTA, but if I, had, if I had to make a top three, 2008 would probably be my next. Um, I think I think that'd be on George's or no, no. My, oh, my, damn. My, yeah, my 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 final year in my top three is 2014. My oh, I like, I like my top. Yeah, my my top five being Whiplash, Interstellar, Nightcrawler, Ex Machina, and It Follows. And then this year just had bangers: Boyhood, uh, Birdman, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Uh, Seth seventy one came out that year. Um, Fury came out that year, so two fantastic war films. We also got a lot of superhero movies this year, uh, that year. Big Hero 6, X-Men Days of Future Past, Guardians of the Galaxy, Gone Girl came out that year, How to Train Your Dragon 2 came out that year, uh, Dawn for the Planet of the Apes came out that year. Uh, which, which one was Dawn? Was that the, did you mention the Lego movie? Gosh, I the Lego see. movie did come out that year, yes. Um, also, one of my favorite the raid two uh kingsman the first I still one i haven't seen the raid two i still haven't yeah it. uh the baba duke came out that year inherent vice uh chef came out that year one of there the best comfort really movies yeah uh fox catcher which i like um i also really like batman assault on arkham cam i don't know if you've gotten to that, one yet. that one yet it's very uh it's a three and a half for me but it's it's very good same thing with uh justice league war i don't know if you've gotten to that one yet but another really solid yeah i didn't love that Really? Damn. I, like I think that I one. have it like a three. That's fair. Which is fine. Uh, but then comedies, we had The Interview, 22 Jump Street, Neighbors. Um, Tusk, Tusk, Tusk. Tusk. I'm not saying that. That shit's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> I do want to give a shout out to I Just Had It. I oh, Edge of it. Tomorrow too came out. Yeah. Theory of Everything. Hey, what's your opinions on the Jump Streets? 22 yeah, could, yeah, yeah. I, I said 22. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, love I, I like 22. I think a lot. it's just as good as the first, and I hold the first. Really? Out. I think the first is like far superior. Really? To me. I hold them both very highly. I, I really like, I like the second one. Yeah, yeah, they're both pretty they're good. Like, oh, like, George, did you say it follows? Yeah. This was the year. Yeah, that was in my top five. Of course. Oh, Wait, what do you yeah. rate that? Five or four, four and a half? Oh, four and a half. You don't need to watch it again to respect you a little bit. I'll try. Seth, what do you got? You said big. Did you say Big Hero Six as well? I, like I did. I did. I don't listen. A, to Fuck knows. That's a great movie. Um, oh, yeah. the pur- the Purge Anarchy. I'll stand by it. That's one no, no. The, pur- the Purge Anarchy is genuinely. Yeah, I think that's a, the better, uh, easily film. the best of the series. It's right the right only there. one I rate. Like, yeah, above, above a two point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a three and a half. Yeah, I think that's fun. Um, yeah. So my number one. Uh, I've been. I did a video on this recently. I've been preaching this for a while. For me, my number one is 1997. Um, Damn it, dude! That's mainly... my number one. <laughs> really? Oh Nin- shit! Which one? 1997. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 97. There is yeah. so many films on here for me that are like stupid high level. So you've got Good Will Hunting. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got Lost Highway, of course, my favorite Lynch. You've got Princess Man and OK, which is just an incredible film. Um, yeah. I don't know where I'd have that, George, in terms of Miyazaki. I'd probably have that around House and Encounter, second, second or third for me. Yeah, that's high for me as well. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Perfect Blue, of course. Yeah. Uh, Life is Beautiful, incredible film. Uh, PTA's Boogie Nights. Uh, Michael Haneke's Funny Games. You've also got Titanic, which I do like a lot. You've got The First Men in Black. I think The First Men in Black is fantastic. Yeah, it's a good movie. 
yeah, Tarantino's Jackie Brown. You've got LA Confidential. You've got uh, Fincher's The Game. You've got Donnie Brasco. You've got um, the Iranian Persian film uh, Children of Heaven. Uh, you've also got sci fi yeah. Starship Troopers, Event Horizon. You've got Jim Carrey's comedies, Liar Liar, which I do like. Uh, you've got Hercules, the animated Hercules, which I think, well, I, I just think Hercules is a, a really, really good film, to yeah. be honest. Um, and then you've also got, which I don't know if people like, but I, I have a, I have an Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. The first Austin Powers film? Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, that, that shit sucks too, but that's not what I thought you were going to no, say. No, the first Austin Powers film. <laughs> great man. okay <laughs> what did you think i was gonna say i thought you were gonna say batman and robin <laughs> oh no i i, I don't i was gonna i was gonna say this year does have three of not the three lowest but three of my lowest rated superhero movies with spawn batman and robin and uh i uh, just looked at it what what the hell give me give me a sec sorry bad podcasting uh steel starring shack <laughs> steel starring star shack incredible have you guys uh, seen uh, the Seth, first Mr. Bean film? Because that's fucking great. No. Okay. No. Seth, I don't know if you've seen these movies, but if you haven't, then I think this will make 1997 even more of your favorite year. Uh, Cure and Taste of Cherry. So Taste of Cherry is a funny one. I've tried. That seems to be like another one where I just can't access unless I got a physical copy. So I haven't okay. seen it. Uh, and Cure is exactly the same, which is weird because Cure is directed by um, Kiyoshi Kurosawa. Kiyoshi Kurosawa. Yeah, who, who did Pulse. Who, who did Pulse? Yeah, so yeah. I I can't find anywhere. I think they'll solidify it. But yeah, for me this year, no, I, I watched. I I didn't. Uh, Cure is like just on YouTube. Oh really? Yeah, like, like you don't not, like no buying, no rates, really just there. Yeah. So, so check this that year out. For me, I have. I'm also surprised you didn't mention Face Off. I haven't seen it. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm not love. a big action guy. To be fair. Oh, I think you would love that movie. I know. I know I, yeah, I've heard. So I've got um, three and five stars. The Fifth one, Element. Two, I don't know if you mentioned. I haven't seen it. Damn, one, bro. You're two, missing all these movies that are just going to elevate this year for you. Three five stars and six four and a half and then like seven fours. So for me, it's probably my highest. I don't know, eight fours. It's probably my highest average year. I've seen... I, I, will, I will put this in because I think it's important to mention, like Josh said earlier, I've not seen as much of this. 5, 10, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. I've actually only seen 35 films from this year, so nothing crazy. I've but I think seen 15. No, it's definitely my highest average um, My highest average year because there's just so many bangers in there and so many classics. So yeah, 1997 it is my number one. Yeah, 1997 was my number one also, but uh, just to keep things fresh, I'll, I'll pick a different year. That would, would have been an honorable mention. So 97 would be in my number one, and we talked about everything. I don't know if you mentioned Scream 2, but also Scream 2 that year. Um, so, yeah, I'll give it 1998 a shout-out because also an incredible year. Got uh, American History X, which for me is a 10 out of 10. Saving Private Ryan, The Truman Show, um, The Big Lebowski, uh, The Parent Trap. Watched that movie Bang. dozens of times as a kid. Uh, Rushmore, Wes Anderson getting kicked off. Um, Rounders, which I, I really like Rounders. Blade, I know a lot of people really love Blade. Did you say uh, The Big Lebowski? I did, yes. Rush Hour, okay. I think a lot, of, a lot of people love Rush Hour. They do, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. The Water Boy, classic. Um, that annoys me, man. I can't stand Sandler in that role. I don't know what it is. I like Adam Sandler in the water, but he Dude, I swear, I every like every boy. time I post my like Sandler ranking, I don't it's have cool. the water boy there. People freak he, out. Mate, it was the same as me. I had it so low and people were crazy. Did you say um, water boy? Did you say the Prince of Egypt? I think that's actually a really, really good film. Okay, interesting. We're in um, 98 right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Thomas Vinterberg's Festin celebration. I think you'd all like that. Bugs Life. Bugs Life's good. I think Bugs Life. Really yeah, I really like Bugs Life. Um, um, Locks, did you Locks, mention two smoking barrels? Oh, um, the ori the original Ring. Oh yeah, Ringu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. mentioned Die Hard. I assume you did. Yeah. Oh, um, Die Hard. Too. Mulan. Wait, Mulan. What? Wait, Cam. What movie did you just say before Mulan? Die Hard. Ninety eight. No, I wasn't that yet. No, no, no. no. It was like 18, 80 uh, something. I heard it was the eighties. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's eighty nine, and I just flipped my writing when I, I put it. Eighty two, so. wasn't it? Oh no, it might have been. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Let's Die see. Hard. Die hard. Is. I'm just going off my Excel spreadsheet. I hold 88, so you're close. 88. Okay, maybe I I clearly clicked a nine instead of an eight when typing it in. So thank you. Oh, I'm have, in, um, have you guys seen Deep Impact? No. Is it that long ago though? Damn, Die Hard was a while ago. Though. Yeah, Die Hard really was really good. Good. Maybe, um, maybe it's because I've always been looking at it and think it's 98. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing a. I know, George, you didn't love it, but I, I actually really liked it. Uh, Aronofsky's debut, Pi. 
I, I didn't hate. I gave it a three. I didn't hate no, it. No, no, I mean you didn't like it. Like I, I think I got like a four. Yeah, I, like I only just watched that for the first time like a couple months ago. I actually, it was like the re-release. I was like the, what would that make it? The twenty-five year re-release of yeah, IMAX yeah, that I got that. invited to. So I, that was the first time I saw it. So I got to see it on an IMAX screen. It was like revamped, and I thought it was cool. I thought it was a cool concept. I just, I don't know. I was just very weird. Anyone yeah. say lock, stock, and two smoking barrels? Uh, yeah, I mentioned that. Yeah, you mentioned it. Did, okay. did um, anyone, did you say, say wedding singer? Oh yeah, wedding singer also. Oh, yeah, wedding singer. Uh, Lion King two, Simba's Pride. I've not, I've not seen that. <laughs> hey man, don't you say. Um... <laughs> you got game. You got games. Not bad. <laughs> did you say uh, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas? Don't you guys have seen that? It's a really good film. Um, that's about it for me. Yeah, ninety eight banged. Another. I, I had four years written down. So the fourth one that. I was like between was 2010, but 2010 is like super top heavy on on D shutter Island inception, social network, how to train your dragon, toy story three. Uh, I saw the devil, the town, Batman under the red hood, black swan, the spider. So it's just a bang. King here. Speech. Yeah. King yeah. speech. True to be fair, you know, how we speak about the King speech losing out. It still was a good film. I think it was a great think. film, but like, come on. No, no, yeah, I agree, but I think King's Speech was still like Come really on. good in general. Over the Social Network and Inception, and the, other guys. the Social yeah, Network for the me. other guys, Scott Tron, Logan, Tron Legacy. I haven't seen it. The Fighter, yeah, Under the, the Under the Red Hood, Under the Sea. You know, I will say because we were talking about him the other day, Shia LaBeouf. I picked 2019. He was in Honey Boy and Peanut Butter Falcon. I yep. picked 2010. He's in Wall Street. Never uh, Money Never Sleeps. And then I also picked what did I say? Twenty I don't was it like Wall Street? Money never sleeps. I don't love it, but it's not like a. But bad what are you? Role. What are you just oh. saying? You're like you're like great child like acting. Yeah, I'm just getting that. Year. Like like he's been in good movies, giving good performances. You just like, said like. Enough. I'm just saying he's given good performances. Like he's not like you know I don't know. We had this conversation the other day where we were like oh maybe he's not that good of an actor, but no, I think he's a good. Actor. Have you noticed? Think, I think like everyone disagreed with me. There's um. Some oh, years for me to stand out, but I couldn't put them in because I haven't seen enough. Like 1975, just for the quality, I've only seen that's 12, the thing. I've only seen, I've seen 16 films from that year. No, sorry, that's 12 the thing. Films. Like, like, a, it has, on Letterboxd, um, it has what? my it has your highest rated, right? I bet yours and all of ours are like 1970s, and it's because like I'm not gonna watch mm -hmm. like half stars from nine at least yeah. from. Yeah, all of my um, highest rated are 70s, 80s, 90s, and it's because I don't watch half stars from then. Oh, yeah. you don't you don't see so i i've seen sorry 15 from 1975 but but the standouts one for the cuckoo's nest barry linden jaws dog day afternoon and george's favorite monty Python from the holy grail that movie well, so, rocky horror picture show but jaws dog day afternoon barry linden one for the cuckoo's nest in the same mm -hmm. year like, that's four classics right there do you know what i mean yeah. and i think that needs a mention like 1980 the same empire strikes back raging bull the elephant man and um the Shining, of course. Yeah. I, I'd like to throw out 1954. I've only seen one movie from that year, and it's a five out of five, and that's Seven Samurai. Okay. Should so it, it, it's batting 100%. Oh, no, George. George. 1954, yeah. Rear Window, Dial M for Murder, Godzilla, Creature Did you throw it out? out? had a great year that year. I haven't seen any of those. <laughs> you haven't seen Rear Window? 2018. Uh, Rear, Rear, Rear Window's been on my watch list forever. You, you'd love Rear Window. It's fantastic. I'm really. sure I would. Did someone throw out 2018? Yeah. Wait. You did? Oh, no. So I no. thought someone did. That's where we talked about it. But I guess no, 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 no. 2018 bangs as well, of course. Uh, it, obviously, the best movie of that year, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> uh, it's not the best. But movie. what year is Wind River then? What did you say? 2017. Oh, I don't know. 17. 17. 17. 17, yeah, yeah, 17. Yeah, 17. Oh, I have it as 2018. So maybe all of my scores are just completely incorrect. Or all of my years. <laughs> but... 2018 is great. It's, it's tough. Great. It's tough going by the letterboxed years because I go by IMDb, just whatever yeah. IMDb tells me. But now, like IMDb says, like Megan is 2022, but like now I know it's 2023, so that could be one of those yeah. like situations. Why was was Megan the one that was holding it back, or is it like? <laughs> yeah, Megan held back. Hey, I'm throwing out 2023 as one of the best <laughs> years um, because we still have Killers of the Flower Moon, The Killer, <laughs> uh, Napoleon. 
We still have a whole lot of bangers to come out, and I've already got two five out of fives, and I haven't even seen past lives. You so got two five out of fives this year? Guardians oh, yeah. and uh, Guardians and Spiders. Spider yeah, of, course, yeah, yeah. of course. Also, Ruby Gillen, Teenage Kraken, made $5 at the box office. It's the lowest mm-hmm. or, lowest uh, opening weekend for any DreamWorks picture. Listen, so. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there just because I have three five out of fives and a bunch of four and a halves. I think last year kind of banged. Last year did kind of bang. This year kind of banged. A- this year's Sun, got a lot of everything everywhere. The Batman, Decision to Leave, All Quiet, Puss in Boots, Babylon, Tar, Banshees, like Top Gun. Was it a bad year? How many five years? How many fives was it? RRR, nope. I see what you mean, actually. Let me check. Uh, 2022. Last year I kind have... of slapped. I had three five of fives and then like five. I had six yeah. four point fives last year. That's actually really good. Cool. Twenty twenty one. I mean, that should be up there just yeah, because okay. of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Twenty twenty was genuinely really good too. Yeah, twenty twenty oh, bang too. Twenty twenty. Oh yeah, and no, another round the father. The father just yeah, I'm thinking ending things. Twenty twenty kind of drops off for me after like the top eight. Yeah, it really does. The top eight carry that year. So yeah, and I I haven't even seen the father so. Oh my God, Josh! Can you watch that already? I know, I know. All right, well, sure, yeah. we can slice slice this off right here. So we talked a ton of honorable mentions, but just for the ones that I've wrote down for the order we went of the top three, um, and obviously, like it's all subjective. Like I'm sure we have like five that we could put in our top three. But Cam said 2019, 2017, 1999. George said 2019, 2017, 2014. Seth said 2020, 2002, 2003, 1997. And Tyler said 2017, 2013, and 1997 as well with the honorable mention in 98. But we also gave so many other years shout outs. So those are kind of basically a, lot, a joke that goes on with people in the sports communities. They're like guys would love to just like sit together in a room and just name off old sports players, like old play- athletes and just do nothing else other than just like name an athlete and just shoot the shit and have a good time. This is basically the movie equivalent of that where we just sat here for 40 minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. and just listed <laughs> off movies. And we're like, yeah, that movie was great. Wasn't it? I, th- yeah. I think, I think, I think people will, too. I think people will like this. If you, obviously if you're listening and you have any ideas for not drafts, not trivia, nothing like that, just discussions about best years, best I don't know, fucking TV show seasons, access from a certain area, genres, whatever you want to talk about. We've got, I think I've already written down like written down a lot of ideas, but if you have any more, feel free to drop them in the comments because I think I enjoy doing videos like this as well. I think it's just yeah, you know what I mean it's not like a draft, it's just chill and I'm in a like discussion about films. So right. I, was not I, think a long time, I think a long time ago before this podcast started, I saw a tweet um that said like guys will literally just sit in a room and name movies and i think i like you you posted a tiktok about that i tagged me i tagged george and i'm like george what are you doing or something like that (laughs) oh no then george tagged me and then i tagged i I duetted cam's video and text yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) that was a long while ago that was like a year ago yeah that was yeah guys guys will literally just sit in a room and name movies and that's that's literally what we just did for 40 i remember on on cam's video seth commented can i join and Cam's response was, I don't know, bro. Do you know can movies? You, can you name a movie? <laughs> can you name a movie? <laughs> I actually remember that. Really. Yeah. That's hilarious. So, you're exactly right, Tyler. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll wrap up the episode there. That was real quick. Episode 71. Shout out to the Barbenheimer shirts and the Real Talk hats and the Fun Drink Friday shirts. Go check out our merch at realtalkpodcast.com. Check out our Patreon in the description down below as well to see all the great tiers we have. And we have stuff like we just had our patron hangout. We have movie watch alongs, which I'm sure we'll have our next one in like a week or two because it's coming up to be that time again. Um, But yeah. yeah, so with that, we will see you in the next one.